Yo, what's good guys, Coach Tech here. So today, we got some more, say with me now, tiny RGB fans. Let's go. Actually right, guys, so these are from Ago. Now these are the DR12s. Now these are the 2019 version. There was a non-2019 version. I did review this, I'm gonna throw a card up there. Definitely check those out. Now these are 120 mil fans. Now I'm gonna show you guys the non-2019 and the 2019 version in a sec so these are the 2019s let's look over the box so dr12 3 in one gaming pc cooling ice storm double ring rgb that's a mouthful but anyways the box is nice vibrant they changed their design they changed their logo a bit on the box i'm going to show you guys right now it's a bit different now pro products and features you guys can see right here now on the side we have, okay, single fan should match a specific DR, uh, DR12 control. I'm gonna show you guys all that. Specs, 120 mil rating, uh, DC 12 volts. These are non-PWM. This is fan speed at 1200 RPM. Now they plug into your hub and not to your MOBO guys. Also they work for all of the MOBO um, ARGB controllers. So you have your, um, the, 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 what do you got? The Aura Sync, the RGB, uh, the Gigabyte Fusion. The MSI Mystic, or that's uh, the Azrock Mystic. But anyways, all of them, they'll work for everything and you could, you know, do your ARGB and do all that fun stuff. But anyways, this is the 2019 one, right? And this is the 20, I don't know, 2017, the old one. But anyways, <laughs> basically, there's a huge difference. They look a lot better. The box even looks a lot better. Now, both of these fans, these are more on the budget side. Now the DR12s when I got them a three pack, I got them for 22 bucks. Now I did get another set as well, 336. So you're gonna basically spend like 45 bucks with tax, it's gonna be 50 bucks. The price range are basically the same as when they first came out. So the boxes are a bit different. They went completely different branding. I'm feeling that of course, made in China. All right, AKA America, <laughs> but uh, made in China. But anyways, that's that. Now the old fans, I'm gonna show you guys that in a bit. But anyways, let's take them out. All right, so we got a hub. All right, so we got a nice looking hub. Let's, let's take that, take that out. Mm, smell like tiny. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyways, so this is the hub. Now I'm feeling this. All right, the hub is very, very small compared to last year's hub, and they have magnetic strips here in the back. Compared to last year's hub or last uh, DR12's hub, look at this hub. Look how massive. Look at the size difference. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. So this is the DR12 Ice Storm. This is the old hub. This is much more massive. And you had the uh, 3M adhesive here in the back. Here, you just have magnets in the back. Very nice, very small compared to this big ass hub. So we get up to eight fans. You could basically connect one through eight. We have separated. Now this is, I'm feeling this. We have a separated section here for LED light strips. Now I think I reviewed the, uh, was it the Antex? that didn't have this, they basically you had to use in the hub. But anyways, check that video, I'll have it too in the description or whatnot. But I'm feeling this, not a lot of companies actually have that. In the same hub, you could just put LED uh, light strips from you know the manufacturer getting the hub from. So in this case, Ego. So we have up to eight fans, you could have additional light strips here. We could have four light strips, which is dope. We have a reset switch and we have a remote. We have a power here. The reset is gonna be, I'm gonna show you guys, that's when you're gonna put the uh, reset switch on your case and you could basically Keep on pressing it to switch colors. I'm feeling this now. This is the remote control. It's all in plastic. It's all in plastic and it has that good shiny smell to it. All right, remote control. Let's let's peel this now. Th these remotes come with this. Uh, you just want to do a little peel over here. This plastic now it looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, we have our off on. We have the lightnesses. We have the speeds. The speeds I believe are for the RGB. So as they cycle, you could slow them down. So they're going to spin a lot slower. Different colors. This looks like a solid white. I gotta check it out. Uh, different modes here, we're gonna check those out. But anyways, as you guys can see when I'm pressing it, the, the red LED is not basically pulsating, right? There's no feedback. What you have to do is this little plastic thing, you guys, make sure you guys remove it. Once you remove it, the remote is working. You're gonna see that LED, red LED feedback. Very important, guys. Uh, anyways, uh, we got a booklet. Let's check out this book. Man. All right, this is what I'm talking about. We got a nice instructional guide over here with the Ego Dark Flash. Basically, typical stuff that we always saw. Now the fans. Oh, yo, 
These things are legit. They pack them so tight that these things are legit, like impossible to take out. So we do have, we're gonna take them out in a second. We do have here a power connector. All right, power. We have uh, Molex male and Molex female. And this is the power that goes into the hub. Now I'm gonna basically run through everything, guys. Uh, in the video, it might be as long as always, just to show you guys how to install these RGB fans. Now we're, what we wanna do basically is plug it into the power and that's it. Now this connector goes into the hub and not to the motherboard guys. All right, no go for the MOBO, into the hub. So there you go, now it's powered on and then you plug in the other side, either the male or female uh, connector for the Molex into your power supply wire that also has the male to female Molex. You guys can see it, plug it in and that's how you get power. All the RGB cycling and everything is gonna be done through this. Next, let's get these fans out. All right guys, so I had to go beast mode on the box. As you can see, I ripped it off. These things are so packed, just so tight. Jeez, it's like impossible to take them out. You gotta like pull them on the other side to take them out. If you got the same issue, let me know. This is insane. Ego, you guys, fuck man, this is way too tight. And now you made me bust up a box, man. That's whack. Shit. Let me know you guys have the same issue, but all right. All right, I'm feeling this. Get the nice, nice fan. I'm gonna show you guys the uh, other version in a sec. I'm not, let me see these things. I wanna say there's no ARGB connector. I'm not even sure if these are ARGB. I gotta make sure, double check. I might, I actually might uh, correct myself and say that they're not ARGB. I don't see no ARGB connector over here. So they not might be ARGB. I'm gonna tell you guys that later once I test them out. But the fans look absolutely beautiful. Let's check them out. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. The all white design, very similar to the old ones. I'm gonna show you guys in a sec. Right here, check them. This is the 2019 and the older version. So this on the left hand side, you have the older version. On the right hand side, you have the 2019. Aesthetically, they look a bit different. White, white blades compared to like I want to say a little smoked, darker color fans. The logo is a bit different. The You still have the grooves on the fans as well. The uh, the rubber grommets here up top are a bit different. These are a little more rugged, more aggressive. These are a little more stealth, a stealthier look. This is basically dampening out the sound. Very nice. Now, when you put them side by side, the LED rings look absolutely, absolutely identical. Same thing, LED rings for the in, uh, for the uh, uh, exhaust and for the intake. Same thing, exhaust intake, very, very similar. So aesthetically, they look a bit different with the new logo with the fans, but LED controls might be the same. I have to definitely check that out. But these are 2019 and I figured, hey, why not? Now, the proprietary wire, guys, that goes into the hub, again, not to the motherboard. So you're gonna wanna put it where it says either how many fans it depends do you have. So this is the first one, I'm gonna put it onto the one. There's this clicker over here. You guys are gonna see it right here, I'm basically clicking it. There's this clicker over here. What you're gonna wanna do is where it goes, you're gonna plug it in right here. All right, so you're gonna push it in and you're gonna hear a click. And there you go, you heard that click, that means the fans are in. You're gonna press it down and pull it out to take out the fans. Again, in, all right, and then press it down. It's gonna basically take the fan it's gonna unplug the fan from the hub. But anyways, let me uh, put them into the test bench. Let's take a check out, look one more time. I'm really feeling this. Where's the Ego logo like that? I'm feeling this very, very nice. Very, very, very nice. But anyways, let me put them into the test bench. We're gonna run through the installation together and do all that fun stuff, guys, together and all that benchmarks. But anyways, let's go. Actually, guys, so we got a benchmarking going on right now. Let's check out those temps in that time. So right now we're running this for one hour, 27 minutes. We're getting 57 degrees Celsius. This is the Ryzen master tool as well, 57 degrees. Now I do have this overclock. Keep this right here, guys. All right, so we got it at four. All right, we're running at four gigs. This is a 2700, uh, 2700X Ryzen 7. Of course, doing a great job. Now, yes, I am using AIO, guys, because why not? Plus, looks beautiful with the white, you know. <laughs> but anyways, let's check out the fans. Let's do some fan tests as well. Let's go. All right, you guys, so the glass is off. Let's do a quick sound test. Now, they are running at 1,200 RPM.
at this RPM they are honestly very very quiet now it does have two modes it has 800 as well as well 1200 as well as 800 so right now it's at 800 Now this is also very, very quiet. It's actually more quieter than 1200, but I would honestly prefer it just to be at 800, at 1200. Let's do a quick, uh, of course, the paper towel test for airflow. Uh, 800 does, you know, do its job. It's not too bad. Let's Let's turn it up. Let's go. All right, so 1200 is a lot better. It's more air. You guys see? It's not bad. It's not bad at all. 1200 RPM is honestly going to be perfect, especially for the cooling, as you guys saw that I did. But, anyways, let's run through the, some RGBs. Let's go. All right, guys, so let's run through the solid colors first. So, right now we got white. All right, white looks absolutely gorgeous, especially since. Especially since if you're gonna get a tempered glass case, this is probably gonna give you the best representation as well as if you get some Corsair uh, RGB LED light strips. Looks absolutely beautiful. All right, so let's, this is white. We got yellow, which looks yellow. Now this is a uh, pinkish purple. I wanna say but it looks like more purple, maybe like light, light purple, but more pink. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Green gorgeous this is like a baby blue this is a blue a more darker blue and this is red looks really nice uh, let's now let me turn off the fans just to show you guys basically how it looks with the LED light strips it does look pretty hot I gotta say let's turn it back on it makes a huge absolutely huge difference let's run through some uh, modes right now well, these are actually presets. Let's run through our presets. This is the first preset. You got all this effects, different things just going around. Now you could uh, speed up the LED effects and slow them down. So let's speed them up. They're gonna go a lot faster right now. They're going a little more faster. So this is the next. This is the next preset. You have it doing this right there, which is pretty interesting itself. Let's go to the next one. This is this effect. Let's go to the next one. And it's the last one. I love the LED dancing. So it basically cycles through all the colors. Now this is auto. Man, that rainbow is absolutely gorgeous. Now auto basically is gonna switch automatically to different to different colors and different presets. So within a few minutes, it's gonna start switching to different presets. So there you go. Basically to start switching everything. So let's run through them. So this is a rainbow. This is just solid white. Let me go up, there you go. This is this preset. This is this preset. Now, if you are into the presets, this is why I'm demoing this guys to you. So you can see exactly what uh, what features and which colors and which presets are available with these fans. This is the next. This is all green. This looks actually pretty dope. All red. Blue. Pretty standard effects. That pinkish purple looks nice. Of course, white. Then you have them spinning around. Then you have this one. But yeah. I mean, look, they look absolutely gorgeous. For the price especially, this, this is honestly a, a no-brainer. 
uh, different modes. I mean, yeah, this looks absolutely dope. But anyways, guys, let's rock to the conclusion. Let's go. All right, you guys, let's peep these fans one more time. Now listen, in white, it is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, man. If you got a, like you guys saw my setup, if you got a white setup, these fans are absolutely gorgeous. One more time. Absolutely gorgeous. And of course, the power wire is really, really long, so you're not gonna have any issues of routing any cables throughout the case. I mean, look, long story short, you guys saw the RGP colors, absolutely fire. You got a bunch of colors, a bunch of presets, especially for 46 bucks, you can't go wrong. For tw for $22, basically for one set, I got two sets, packs of three. I can spend 46 bucks with tax, 50 bucks. Listen, these things are absolutely beast. And you do get two modes. Now it does, it do you do have your 1200 RPM as well as you have an 800 RPM as well. As you guys heard, there's a huge, there's a dip, there's a difference, but not a huge difference, I would say. I mean, you know, 1200 is not loud. You know, if I was you, just leave it at 1200, especially for the temps that you guys get, is absolutely amazing. Now, I did have an issue with, you know, with the, with the remote is pretty beast, but I did have an issue with the fan when I was clicking it constantly. When I was clicking it, it wasn't very responsive, so I had to constantly click it, but I just found that as a minor issue with the, um, with the remote control, with that sense. But overall, I gotta say, if you got a white setup, if you're looking for white fans, this is, you know, this is this is a definite go, especially you got the double-sided, you know, LED rings. I mean, you guys saw it. I mean, this thing is absolutely beast, especially for the Bryce, you know. Um, I gotta clarify now, there's no ARGB. This, that, this does not support ARGB, my fault. I Actually, in the beginning of the video, I might have said it did, but it does not support ARGB. The colors are already preset to the fans and to the hub. So whatever the presets that you guys saw that I demoed with the hub, those are all the presets you're gonna get. So if you are, you know, if you're looking for something to synchronize with your motherboard through all these uh, softwares, unfortunately that's a no-go. These fans then, you know, are not for you. But if you don't care about that, which honestly, in my humble opinion, guys, it don't make a difference, then listen, these bad boys are gonna do everything that you need to do, except they don't have ARGB uh, compatibilities. But listen guys, that's that. I'm Kosha Tech. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about these fans, what you guys thought about the video, what you guys thought about the review. As always guys, I'm gonna catch you guys next time. Deuces.